Hello, good morning all. Okay, I hope all of you stay healthy in your home. Now we want to continue our lessons. We learn about whole numbers, but now we will learn numbers to one hundred thousand. Okay, jadi kita kali ini akan belajar tentang angka sampai bilangan seratus ribu. Okay, before we start to numbers to one hundred thousand, we will review about your lessons in grade three. Okay, samples we have numbers two thousand three hundred and twenty five. Two thousand three hundred and twenty five. If you write this as numbers, we will have two three. Two five, or we read that as two thousand three hundred and twenty five. We have two in thousands place, three in hundreds place, two in tens place, and five in ones place. Okay, that's about our review in grade three numbers to ten thousand. Now we will continue numbers to one hundred thousand. We want to write the numerals from words. Jadi yang pertama kita akan menuliskan angka berdasarkan kalimat yang diberikan. Examples: thirty-four thousand nine hundred and fifty-six. How we write these words into numerals? Now that you have to attention is if we have thirty-four thousand, ya jadi kalau thousandsnya itu sampai ada tens. Maka angkanya ini itu akan sebanyak lima angka. Kita akan menuliskan dia itu sebanyak lima angka. Thirty-four thousands. So it means we have number three and four in thousands. Thirty-four thousand nine hundred and fifty-six. Right, nine hundred and fifty-six. Jadi kamu perhatikan dulu kata atau kalimat sebelum kata thousands. Jadi sebelum kata thousands itu kita punya di sini thirty four, so we write thirty four, and then we make space. After that we write nine hundred and fifty six in numerals. Next for the second examples, sixty thousands and nineteen, sixty thousands. So it means we write sixty first, and then after that we write nineteen. Oke, okay, jadi kita tulis dulu 60.000, berarti kita tulis dulu 60. Setelah itu kita kasih space. And then N19, kita tulis 19. Karena ratusannya tidak ada, maka kita tulis ratusannya itu dengan angka 0. Oke, okay, that is to write numerals from words. Now, how about to write words from numerals? Sekarang kita kebalikannya, menuliskan kata dari angka yang diberikan. Examples we have numbers here. Okay, sekarang kamu perhatikan angka yang sudah diberikan ini. How to write these numerals into words? If we read this, we can see we can say that this is forty six thousand six hundred and twenty five. Jadi perhatikan di depan space itu thousands. Jadi kita punya di sini angka empat dan enam. So it means forty six thousand. Six hundred and twenty-five. Okay, let's go to another example. Okay, we have numbers here. Okay, now let's see the numerals in front of space. We have sixteen here, so it means the word is sixteen thousands and fifty-one. We don't have hundreds here, so it means. We only have words sixteen thousands and fifty one, enam belas ribu lima puluh satu. Okay, now the another examples. We have numbers here. Nah, sekarang kita tinggal tuliskan kalimatnya dari angka ini. We have fifty in thousands, so we write fifty thousands nine hundred. And eight. The other examples we have eighty in front of space. It means we have eighty in thousands and seven in one. So we have write eighty thousands 
and seven. Eighty thousand and seven. Okay. Now we uh, go to another example. We will learn about count on. This is the examples from number three in your book, page nine. Jadi ini adalah contoh soal yang teacher kasih dari soal yang ada di buku web book kamu yang di halaman 9 nomor 2. Jadi kita akan menghitung maju. Examples we have numbers here. 51,000, 52,000 and 53,000. 51,000, 52,000 dan 53,000. Nah, bagaimana kita dapat menemukan angka dua angka setelah 53,000? Now let's see the patterns. From 51,000 to 52,000, it count on in thousands. Jadi dia bertambah seribu. Begitu juga dari 52,000 ke 53,000, bertambah seribu. Maka dari 53,000 ke angka selanjutnya, kita juga tambahkan seribu. So we have numbers 54,000 and the next numbers is 55,000. So the next Two numbers is 54,000 and 55,000. Okay, next the other examples. We have 40,000, 50,000, 60,000. Count on in 10,000. Jadi dia bertambah 10,000. So the next numbers is 70,000 and 80,000. Okay, now we continue. In page 10, please open your book in page 10, number 4. In number 4, we have question there. Fill in the blanks with the missing words and digits for each number. So, it means we have to complete missing words and digits. Jadi nanti pada soal ini, kita akan diberikan soal, kata, dan angka. Nah, tetapi dari kata dan angka itu ada kata-kata yang hilang ataupun angka yang hilang. Nah, jadi kita harus mencocokkan antara angka dan kata mana yang hilang dan kita lengkapi. Example, so we have now words here. 34,000 and 9. 34,000 and 9. 34,000 dan 34,009. And we have numerals here. Blank, 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 four, zero, zero, nine. Nah, sekarang kita perhatikan baik-baik di sini. Mana yang hilang? Nah, yang hilang ada di angkanya, teacher. Ada angka yang pertama hilang. Nah, bagaimana kita menemukan angka yang hilang ini? Let's see the words. Nah, angkanya yang hilang satu. Tetapi kalimatnya lengkap. Thirty-four thousands and nine. Nah, sekarang kita perhatikan N9, lengkap dia N9, 009. Nah, sekarang ini kita punya angka yang pertama, 4. Berarti kita harus cari angka yang di depan 4 ini berapa. Nah, dua angka pertama itu terletak di depan kata thousands. Ya, jadi kita lihat di depan kata thousands itu adalah 34. 34 berarti angkanya itu kalau kita tuliskan adalah 34. Nah, kalau 34 maka kita bisa dapatkan di depan ke angka 4 itu adalah angka 3. Oke, okay. so the numerals we have 34,009. It seems with the words. Oke, okay, now the other examples. We have 97,000, blank, 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 107. And we have numerals 9, blank, 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 307. Nah, sekarang kita perhatikan. Teacher, yang hilang ada di words dan ada di angka. Bagaimana kita bisa cari jawabannya, teacher? Dua-duanya hilang. Nah, bagaimana kita bisa melengkapinya? Nah, kalau untuk soal seperti ini, Berarti kita harus perhatikan dulu mana yang lebih gampang kita lengkapi. Nah, kita lihat dulu dari kata words. Di sini adalah 97,000. 97,000 itu lengkap kalimatnya. Berarti kalau misalnya kita tuliskan di angka, dia 97,000. 
Berarti angkanya adalah 9 dan 7. Wow, udah dapat 9 dan 7. Di sini angka 9. Maka kita dapatkan di sini di belakang angka 9 itu adalah angka 7. Nah, bagaimana kita menemukan kata yang hilang ini? Kita lihat dari angkanya. Angkanya sudah lengkap. 97,307. 307 berarti angka yang hilang, eh, kalimat yang hilang itu adalah kata Three. Okay, so that's how to complete missing words and missing digits. Okay, for now, you have to do exercise. Please do in your workbook, page 9, number 1, only part B and D, number 2, only part C, number 3, only part A, and in page 7, please do number 4, part A and D. Okay, that's all about our lessons today. I hope all of you understand. If you have some questions, you can ask to me personally or you can join in our Zoom meeting later. Okay, thank you for all your attentions and God bless you.